going through receipts today. So I have done a lot of it actually. Um, a lot of it's definitely all of last year's um, last tax year has been like recorded and put on a spreadsheet. I think there's a few things I need to add, like um, when I buy Hermes in store and it comes straight from the bank account, so that needs to go on. Um, but I'm pretty much uh, there. Just need to get it all together in in um, well, it is all together in one place. I need to, I, I've done this before, but I just need to go through again and um, double double check it before I rubber stamp things. So um, I mean, I won't go into details of that. When I have receipts, um, I normally write when I've been to a charity shop I'll write on the back what the individual items are and then once it goes on the spreadsheet on the front side of the receipt I'll put a little tick at the bottom to say it's been done so all of that's been done um, yeah just ploughing through and making sure each month's spreadsheet has got all my receipts in it'll have a download from PayPal a download from Amazon um, and then um, any other um, any other things that aren't captured in that so obviously car boots um they get done as i as i um was at them they get done straight away um but it's stuff like that that might come out of my bank account that isn't captured in um paypal or receipts so um yeah stuff like hermes and stuff like that so there you go i'll, I'll crack on with that and let you know how that's going um i've just gone over three thousand um for the month again let me flip around and show you my bar chart. Yeah, so there we go. Just four pound over into into um, three thousand. How's it compared to like? Look, it's not that great. I mean, compared, to, I was doing better this time last year. But there you go. You can't complain. That's where I want to be. It's fairly consistent-ish. You know, good sales every day. Of course, the one worrying thing is, I've got this chunky monkey falling off. How much is this? So that's like that's a two hundred and eighty pound day falling off. So I've either got to get loads of sales today or tomorrow to um, maintain this. And then look, all of this dropping off. Yeah, I'm glass. I am glass half empty. But there you go. Um, it may be as good as it's going to get for a while because obviously it's going to drop off second half of December. But we'll see how we can do. Um, let's turn this around again. Um, my Amazon's at about three hundred. Uh, I'm not a big Amazon. I need a shave, look at me. I'm, I look a right old mess. Um, it's Hitchin's put me all out of sync. <laughs> That's what it is. I've been the same since Hitchin. And I only stayed there till half five. God knows what it would have been like if I'd um, have stayed there till, um, well, all night. Um, but yes, I am doing my financials because I keep finding reasons not to do it. I'll, then I'll list five. Then I need to tidy up because it's a mess. And then I've got a few outstanding things. I'm not going to the post office today. We'll go tomorrow. Went yesterday. The queue was horrendous. Typical start of December queues. And they were saying I should do drop and go. Now, I've been very close to doing drop and go. But I've never really sussed out how you get the um, proof of postage. I, I think you get like a, a, a docket or something. Um, but I should find out about that or I should find out about having um, a Royal Mail business account and have grey bags here that I can just fill up and, and send off. At the moment I'm um, going to the post office twice a week with a, a shed loads of parcels um, prepaid and I kind of think it really hacks everyone off in a queue but looking at my receipts it only takes like t three minutes for me to hand over my parcels so it's not that long it just seems like a long time. Um, but I think there must be a better way. But I never quite get, um, yeah, if I do click and drop and put everything in a bag or, or have a business account where my proof of postage is. Not that I've ever needed it. I've never actually, three years of doing this, I've never actually used, um, needed a proof of postage. Well, the only time I've needed it is for eBay saying I've had, had a late delivery. So I suppose I do need it, but I've never had, um, well, I say that, I've had a couple of lost items, but never bothered uh, claiming, which is more for me, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I've got to find a quick way of doing postage, like December, start of December's a nightmare. I mean, I will try and go down at a less busy time, but I know it's going to be chocker down there. Loads of uh, grannies in the queue sending 30 Christmas cards to 
you know, relatives in Canada, that kind of thing, and people filling in a passport form at the counter while you're waiting. If you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm delaying doing my receipts. So I better go and do that now. I'll catch you later. Okay, not much else to report today. Um, I got a new webcam, which is what I'm looking at. And I'm trying to set this up. I'm trying to get my headset working properly. My mic levels were a little bit low. I'm going through OBS at the moment. When I go, don't go through OBS, it's very hissy. So... I'm just doing this at Lembit as a little test for me to um, play back and see what it sounds like. But um, I've drafted five things. I'm going to put them live later on. Um, I've got my accounts pretty much in order. And I've packaged up. I've got two more things to package up. Got to go to the post office tomorrow. So normal, normal day. But was distracted by this webcam. This and this. Which trying to set up levels and everything is a nightmare but it's nice to have a good webcam uh, or fairly bit of a more decent one it was the c920 which was kind of recommended to me i think a lot of people have got it um i've not got any lights on just got like um a light up there so for no lights it's um it's pretty good but uh, i hopefully have a bit more of a reselling related day tomorrow and um, i'll see you then have a good day